God bless everybody watching. This is Apostle Talma, God's Oracle for the Hour. I'm excited to come to you today as we talk about the seven ways which demons enter into human beings. Seven ways which demons enter into human beings. We have been ministering a lot about deliverance. That is how we can exit the demons. How we can take the demons out of a human being through what is called exorcism ministry whereby we are telling the devils to go out those that believe in my name they shall cast out devils the word cast it simply means to drive out a, a, a demon glory be to god but little we have been said about how the demons actually enter in the first place you see every nation which has got to have a lot of security must secure its borders that is its entrance point and its exit point so as a human being as a christian you are supposed to have a revelation of how demons access human beings how do they enter into human beings so there are basically seven ways whereby demons enter into human beings now they are what we call seven gets to the human soul or seven gets to the human body or seven gets to the human spirit hallelujah now we have got what is called the eye gate demons enter through the eyes be careful of what you watch even on tv you see we are living in a generation where people watch even pornographic material demons enter through the eyes and at the end of the day you see yourself uh, uh, being intimate with different people in your dreams those are spiritual husbands and spiritual wives spiritual husbands and spiritual wives can actually enter a human being through what they watch and then number two we have got the ear get the ear get it is your ears demons enter your life through your ears i remember casting 38 demons out of a boy of 12 years and these demons were associated to worldly music i'm not saying you are not supposed to listen to worldly music the choice is going to be yours but listen this guy was manifesting different the human spirit of different musical artists who are singing worldly music so some of the music that you listen to can actually uh, create an entrance of a demon to enter into you that's the reason why when you see that uh, you know when a demon came upon Saul they would call upon David because David was anointed by Samuel so anytime that David would play the harp the demon upon Saul would come out of him now listen what if the opposite was true that, that David had, had a demon which means if a person who has got a demon plays music or sings music because music is spiritual spirits they feed on music that's the reason why in heaven there is no prayer there is nothing else in heaven there is only worship because god is a spirit and they that uh, worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth the glory be to god and we have what is called the mouth gate there are people who can uh you know speak negative words over their own lives that gives the devil a legal ground and a legal basis to harass their lives death and life are in the power of the tongue death and life are in the power of the tongue so the words that you speak can actually give demons a legal ground to harass your life glory be to god hallelujah and we have got the last one i'm gonna talk on this particular uh, broadcast it is called the sexual gate the sexual gate the private part of every human being it is not only a gateway into their body but it is a gateway into their soul the bible says don't you know that he that uh, joined together or sleeps together with a harlot becomes one with that individual so when people are sexually active or they become sexually intimate there is a bond called a soul tie which is actually created hallelujah so now now there is an exchange of spirit if the bible says that they are going to become one that means the demons that affect this one are going to affect the other one so if the person you are sleeping with my god is affected the spirit of poverty the demon of poverty now you've got an entrance point or now he's got a legal basis to attack your life glory be to god so i trust that this information I have given you today it is going to change your life forever i want you to stay tuned for part two part two where we are talking about the three other gates to the human soul or three other ways demons enter into a human being the lord bless you the lord favor you the lord causes face to shine upon you more grace unto you amen